Let's go ahead and open the Health Modifiers Tweak menu. Hover over it, hold L1 and press Square. Here you can set the options for how the Health Modifier works. That includes how much health is modified, which is shown in the first slider. Right now, it's set to minus 100. This means it will take 100 health points away from anything it affects. Just enough to make Connie respawn. The modifier mode is set to per hit, so 100 health points will be taken away when anything touches it. But since we want the area around the platforms to be lethal, we need to set the modifier type to zone. Select the zone icon with X now, then go to the zone properties tab so we can change its size and shape. The icon is at the top of the menu and looks like a box in a zone. Look for the zone shape section of the menu, then select the cube. You can use the zone sliders to make the zone bigger. Be careful not to make it too tall. The respawn zone should be level with the pink lines around the platforms. If you need to, move the health modifier gadget nearer to the floor. When you hover over the edges of the zone, you'll see white arrow gizmos appear. Grabbing these with R2 will let you change the size of the zone. Using those, you can make sure the area around the platforms is covered. Now let's test it in play mode and see what happens. Perfect. If Connie falls off now, she'll just respawn back on the platform. <laughs> 